We've had quite a few campaigns around bullying that have tried to use social media and mainstream media to try and get the messages across that they're actually human rights issues. So one of our themes around violence, harassment and bullying was to look at the bystander. We think it's not just enough to focus on the victim or the perpetrator, but the role of the bystander in protecting the victim. With one of our campaigns around uh, bullying, which we called Back Me Up, um, was, it was a focus on young people. The whole campaign was run on Facebook. It was a competition and we got young people to uh, devise a, a short two minute video to tell us how they would back someone up if they were the victim of bullying. We obviously had a whole lot of resources as well for, the, for young people, information on bullying, information on how to um, avoid it, what they should do when they uh, were confronted with bullying. And it had a huge amount of interest, so the content was generated by young people, the quality was really high, um, it's amazing what young people can produce on iPhones these days. So we've run that campaign over two years and it's been really successful for us. We involved the target group in the design of it. They were involved in designing the, the campaign, in designing the logo, in every element of it. You know, even in the, we had them involved in the judging. I think that that was its strength. One of the big challenges for us with um, the Back Me Up campaign was uh, that you, we also got some content from young people that was quite um, challenging, you know, displaying self-harm behaviour, talking about suicide, and we had to think through how do we manage those risks. I don't think that should stop national human rights institutions using social media. I just think there's a lot of thinking to do around what are the risks and how do you manage them. So I want to ask you to do something for me. I want you to stand up if you've been cyberbullied. We use social media uh, a lot. We use Twitter, Facebook. All our commissioners have Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts. And I think one of the tensions for national human rights institutions is we have to be measured. We can't have uh, quick political responses to things. We actually have to have that independent, measured voice of uh, human rights expertise.